outer islands of the Seychelles are scattered across the Western Indian Ocean and are renowned for their remoteness and unspoiled nature. Over 1,000 kilometers southwest from the capital Mahe lies the Aldabra Group, comprised of Assumption Island and neighboring World Heritage Site Aldabra, as well as Astove Island and Cosmoledo Atoll. In November 2014, Island Conservation Society sent a team of two field workers, Jonathan and me, Lucy, on a four-week expedition to research Cosmoledo. We had the opportunity to explore the 19 islands there, along with the fly fishing guests of Alphonse Island Lodge on the liverboard vessel, the Myers Dugong. Cosmoledo has been uninhabited for over 20 years, and its remoteness means there have been few opportunities for scientific research. As such, it was our mission to document and collect baseline terrestrial and marine data. Our first objective was to understand what the vegetation cover was like. By hiking across Cosmoledo's 19 different islands and marking or sampling all the different species we found, it was possible for us to create maps of the terrestrial habitats we encountered. These maps can now be used to assess the size of suitable habitats for birds and consequently their population size. This is important for Cosmoledo, for it is home to some of the largest breeding bird populations in the Seychelles, including over one million pairs of sooty tern and tens of thousands of red-footed, masked and brown booby. Outer islands, and specifically Cosmoledo and Astove, are famous for their abundant marine life and fishing potential, and are becoming increasingly popular destinations for fly fishing enthusiasts from around the world. It was our objective to make assessments about the potential for sustainable levels of ecotourism. This included spending time with the hard-working guides and fortunate guests of Alphonse Island Lodge. We saw hundreds of fish being caught and released back to the ocean, including giant trevally, bonefish, barracuda, triggerfish, and even milkfish and permit. We assessed the ways in which many impacts on fish can be minimised and have developed recommendations for Seychelles fly fishing operations. In this way, the interests of both tourism and conservation will be happily aligned. We also tried to gather as much data as possible on Cosmoledo's unique flora and fauna, specifically insects, turtles, land birds and seabirds. We documented the insect life associated with Cosmoledo's different vegetation types and also collected specimens for preservation. We constructed pitfalls to capture ground level insects and mallows traps or tents to capture those that were flying. Land birds prey on such insects and we spent time surveying their population distribution, especially observing four endemics including the Suimanga sunbird and the Madagascar white-eye sister cola and turtle dove. Cosmoledo is home to the Seychelles second largest population of nesting green sea turtles and also supports the Aldabra Group's largest population of nesting hawksbill turtles. To better understand the genetics of this species, we conducted morning beach patrols, collecting DNA samples from the females we encountered. We also counted seabirds, particularly the numbers of brown booby and mass booby that were in peak breeding season, and quantified how many eggs or developing chicks were in their nests. Rats and cats, introduced by humans, prey on ground nesting birds like these, so our colleagues conducted a pest eradication programme back in 2007. It was our job to assess the success of these efforts, so we set many cat and rat traps. We caught nothing suggesting a positive future for Cosmoledo's ground nesting birds. From our work, we are able to build a better picture of the brilliant and diverse terrestrial and marine life on Cosmoledo as well as the sensitivities of the ecosystem, and now continue to work towards the protection of this special place. 
Our research could not have been possible without the support from Captain Kevin and crew of Myers Duvong, nor without the backing of the guides from Alphonse Island Lodge. And for this, we sincerely thank you. <laughs>